Hi, um, this is a Dell Latitude CPI that I bought that uh, off the internet that wasn't working. Uh, I've repaired it. It was quite a simple fix. Um, it had a hard drive in it that was running Windows 95. I let's see, you can see the code there. I don't mind you seeing the code on this anyway, because I'm not going to be using it anyway. I, uh, I don't. Uh, no one need. No one uses 95 anymore. You can see this needs some. TLC the, the, the lids, that we, but it's a, it's a second hand PC, so what do you expect, you know? Okay, so now it was, I can't turn it on because the battery in it is no good and I'm not uh, plugging it into the mains now. As I say, before it goes off, it needs a, it needs a little bit of a clean. I'll need to test it, it's all working okay. Someone's put something on this, you can see the, the, the thing around the side, but it needs a clean anyway. I shouldn't really lick the screen, but hell, what the hell. I'm just, I'm just running through this with you anyway, so you can see. There's a few marks on the screen. A bit of TLC will uh, work, that, work that out. Now, the problem with this PC, with this laptop was, it was broken, as I said earlier, and it wasn't working properly. Now, when I say it wasn't working properly, I mean, every time you switched it on, it said push F2, and it, you used to get kicked into the BIOS to set the, the PC up because it, it's Comos battery was dead and there's the old Comos battery that I've taken out now it actually is quite hard it sounds like a hard job but it's actually quite easy I was so surprised it says it takes like four hours I managed to do it in an hour so how do you do that I hear you say how do you change your battery right well the first of all you need to undo some of your screws I'm just going to take this off the tripod and move the tripod out of the way. Okay, so what you have here is lots of screws, as you can see, all the way around there. So if you're going to do it, I'm not actually going to do it, but you need to um, remove your battery. So I'm just going to put that down there and remove the battery. The battery is, is worn out anyway. It's, that's very important to remove the battery and unplug it if you're ever going to take anything apart it stops you from getting this shock and it stops you from turning it on when you've got it in bits which would, could be very inconvenient to say the least okay now um, this is screwed in so well, I'll leave that in there the hard drive is in there so you need to undo these screws here this one here um, that one there and that one there um, and that one and that one and, and then you can turn it over and you can pry open the um, you can get the uh, keyboard off now the best way of doing that is to put a screwdriver under there and lever it up and it will, it will suddenly pop up. Once it pops up, you can then just put your, your hand underneath and uh, remove it. Don't just go, you know, like with some force because you don't need any force. Just gently and it'll, it'll pop off. And underneath there's a little connector. Just pull the connector out really carefully. Uh, and then you've got the keyboard off. Then close your screen down like that. Believe me, you'll, you'll be surprised how easy it comes off because I was. And I've deconstructed a few laptops in my time. Um, and they're not always that easy. Then you need to start undoing the rest of the screws. You can, actually you can, what I did was, is you can undo all the screws. And then you've only, uh, you've only got to take it to bits. Now, um, once you've undone these screws at the back here, there are other screws. There's, you need to ch just check around for screws and undo all your screws you need to pull the back panel off now if you go on the internet and look at some of the other sites they tell you to take the screen off I did not do that I did not do that I did not have to do that now there are some screws there's a screw in there which is missing on this one um, and there's also a screw there as well under under the under there you need to make sure you undo that um, once you're sure you've undone all the screws you can gently take the back the bezel off uh, which you may see ah, come on <laughs> that's what 
So you try and hold a camera. Yeah, uh, you can take the bezel off, which is all around here. Now the Comos battery is actually just there. Now they can, they come, so it'd be about there. Now they say take the screen off so that you can get the the rest of the bit, the bezel right off and take it off. I didn't have to do that. If you're very careful, and I mean I mean very careful, you can actually just lift the panel up. You'll need to screw to put a screwdriver underneath because they put glue on the bottom of them. I don't know if, that, if you can see that. That's where it's dirty, where it's uh, picked up dust uh, while it's been inside the laptop. And just put a new Comos battery in. Um, there's two connectors. There's a two-pin one. I don't think I can show. I don't think that shows up very well. But anyway, there's a two-pin one and there's a three-pin one. Uh, this is the two-pin one, which is the more modern. The three-pin one are very hard to get hold of. Uh, you will have to look them up on the internet. Uh, most places don't sell them. I did find somewhere that sold them, but you have to phone them beforehand and uh, it was, uh, it's see if they had any in stock. So, anyway, that's dead. And now I put the, it's a new one, it's blue. But it doesn't make a lot of difference. You just uh, look on, look, usually tells you everything about the battery on the battery. Make sure it's exactly the same, because if you get the wrong one, it won't work necessarily. Uh, and it's uh, not very good if you don't do that. Okay, so as I say, I managed to lift the panel up, and then you unplug it there. There's a connector just under where the space key is. Just pull the connector out. Make sure before you pull any connectors out, you know what they're attached to. Don't pull something out that you can't then put back in or because you've broken it because uh, the Comos battery is actually mixed in with two more panels that you might not see you might not know how to connect back up so you, you really don't want to be doing that uh, under here also there's a small connector that that is just in front of that it's for the touchpad if you lift the bezel up you're gonna pull it out make sure you put it back afterwards that's that's quite important um, and then once you've got your new battery in, you so I slid it underneath and run the connector, put the connector in then and then put the, the thing back on, then I pushed the, be the bezel back on, close the lid, put the back panel back on, put all the screws in and then I tested it and it works. So I, uh, it, that was a good, a good success. Um, they, right, they range greatly in price, the new ones. They range from about uh, 80 pound, uh, sorry, eight pound, to about 10 pound. I think I paid nine pound because the the one that uh, was cheaper came from China, um, and they wanted uh, 14 days for delivery. This came in in two days. As I say, it sounds like a hard job. If you if you're not keen on doing it, get a, a go take it to a professional PC engineer. Um, like myself, haha, <laughs> and uh, you can then uh, get it done and you'll get your PC back working it, with any luck, unless it's something more sinister. But I doubt, uh, like the current the, one of the chips has gone, these are very old, as you can see, Windows 95, so they could be anything up until about when uh, they could be more than 10 years old. I gotta go, but as I say, they'll do someone a turn, and uh, I think that's about it. Thanks very much, bye.